Hi Gemini, how's it going? Happy holidays. And this is going to be your future partner reading for uh, January 2017. And uh, I'm going to change it up a little bit, you know, because I don't want to be repetitive with these readings every single month. And uh, some people um, forget that I'm not an FBI agent. So, guys, this is entertainment purposes only, okay? Don't take it serious. Don't, don't be butthurt, um, you know, that it didn't resonate with you. Please, this is for entertainment only. Just wanted to let everybody know, you know, in case if somebody has a problem. Um, yeah. Okay, so future partner. And I got a new microphone. Guys, please let me know in the comments if you can hear me finally. Okay, so future partner, Gemini. Of course, I got the devil right away. <laughs> this is somebody that you're going to be very, very tempted by. It's going to be kind of hard to handle, okay? Um, yeah, somebody that either was cheated on or lied to in the past or somebody that could have done it to somebody else. Ace of Wands, this is a very passionate start as, you know, somebody that you kind of meet really quick and you fall for them quick and you're tempted by them really quick and uh, somebody that can potentially make you very, very happy. Okay, okay, this is somebody that's very, very satisfied with their life right now. They don't want anything less, they don't want anything more. Their their life is really perfect right now. And they've got a lot of options besides you. Um, it could be your illusions around them, but I honestly think it's just uh, options. Options that this person has. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, this person feels very defensive. Um, you know, with the uh, Nine of Cups here too, this person, I feel like they're so satisfied with their life right now that they don't really want to get into a relationship. However, I did not get Four of Cups here yet. So I feel like they're just kind of defensive at first, okay, whether or not they should proceed with something. This person could have brown hair, it could be a fire sign, or it could be somebody just very, very attractive, somebody goal-oriented, somebody with a very um, stern personality, if that makes sense. This is somebody that's in the public eye, okay? Somebody that works uh, in the public eye, you know, or a lot of people know this person, or this person you know, goes to certain events where there are a lot of people, there are a lot of acquaintances that they have. This person could be re getting recognized soon and you're going to be there with them. Or this person is just getting a lot of attention, you know, from people. From people that want to get with them, basically. So, what's your first impression of them? This person is definitely going to rock your world, okay? This is a shake-up. Hmm. So what should you expect from this person, Gemini? Well, this is not like the end of the world, you know, this could be a regret. Yes, it's not like they're gonna betray you, you're gonna feel sad and cry, okay? This is more like you need to expect uh, to regret the, right, the wrong choice that you might make with this person, okay? Whatever that is to you. Because this is a card of regrets, this is a card of grieving, kind of feeling a loss, okay? So it, it's kind of like if you don't pursue them, you're going to feel a huge loss later, okay? And this person is uh, good at manipulating you. Well, is this person genuine? Damn it. Uh, this person, yes, it's a, they're very, this is the best one to get. You know, they're very, very stable. They're very grounded. They're very reliable. This person is pretty stable. Yes. So, financially too. So, I feel like, you know, there is nothing to worry about. This person could be very spiritual or just a loner. Okay, even though they are in the public eye or they do get recognized or they do get a lot of attention, this person prefers their pers like their private uh, privacy, you know, their own space. They don't really like to share um, with the world, you know, anything they do or how they feel and stuff like that. Okay, guys, uh, one more card. 
oh yeah, and uh, this person, you know, you could meet them at a celebration, however, it could also just mean, celebration is what, like, Christmas, New Year's, you know, something that's coming up, however, it's not January yet, but, you know, or this could simply be um, you feeling really stable with them if you move forward, okay, so that's a really, really good thing. Now, the letters that I, no, not the letters, what I see here, I see, I see Virgo, I see Capricorn, I see earth and fire, mostly, yeah, and as for the letters, I see A, Y, U, O, sorry, our dog, B, 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 P, that's it, guys. Yes, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know how you liked it, whether I should go to the old version or stick with this one. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my general spread. Bye-bye.